Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Eli at Kingsbridge Performance and 4x4 here in lovely, sunny North Yorkshire. And today we have a almost new Porsche Taycan. This is the Performance 4S model, so you've got four-wheel drive. Um, it's got the Performance Battery Plus, the extended range as well. So it's pretty much the top of the range, unless you're going for a Turbo or Turbo S version. This is... Uh, the best one you can get. This is a 70 plate, so it's just under a year old, uh, under 3,000 miles as well, one owner from new, uh, local as well, uh, near us, and um, we collected the car this week. We've just had it completely machine polished and detailed. Our in-house detailers spent over two days uh, refining the paintwork on it, and it looks absolutely fantastic. You can see it's gleaming like a mirror. There's not a flaw in it. It is absolutely stunning and immaculate. This is jet black metallic and it's um, got the, I'll show you the wheels in a sec. In fact, let's, let's have a look at them now. They're the, the 20 inch wheels with um, finishing gloss black with a sort of diamond cut face. You got the Porsche center caps there. You got the red brake calipers. Uh, they're wrapped in Michelin tires, 245, 4520s. Uh, so obviously Michelin generally I would say are the best tyres for these. Uh, in, in general, I think they're pretty much the best. Same on the back as well. Now, obviously, the car's not done many miles at all, so the tread is excellent, pretty much as new. You can see that says the Pilot Sport model. It's also got it's got a fantastic spec. There's roughly around eleven to twelve thousand pounds worth of factory options. Um, first of all, it's completely blacked out, so you've got the gloss black window surround trim as opposed to chrome. You've got the privacy glass as well. And then of course you've got the gloss black wheels. And going round to the rear of the car, you've also got the model designation delete. So it doesn't say Taycan 4S. It's just plain, simple, um, clean rear end. So that I think looks really good and suits the car really nicely. You can see there the rear spoiler that pops up. Now this one, don't think it's boring inside, it's actually got the slate grey leather which just livens it up a little bit and it's also got the panoramic sunroof but just carrying on round the outside before we go onto the inside, you can see here you've got Porsche LED matrix light system. So that's the LED matrix lights with the PDLS, the Porsche Dynamic Light System Plus, uh, roughly around £2,000 for that option there. You can see there it's got adaptive cruise control, you can see the front sensors, it's also got surround view cameras everywhere. Another great option to have. It's got the much sought after and pretty much essential uh, panoramic sunroof. So altogether, great spec car, great option, and it's um, great options. It's got a great uh, price attached to it as well. We priced it very, very keenly. Uh, so there's the boot area, nice and large. You've got the bag with the cables in. This has got the 150 kilowatt onboard charge booster as well, which was another 400 pound option. Well worth having, if you want my opinion. You've got some additional storage here where you could store your cables if you wanted. The boot's obviously electric there, so you can just simply press that and it lowers itself. You've got the tinted glass there at the back of the, back of the light, and then you've got the brake light that runs uh, and main light that runs all the way across the back, which is a nice signature of the car. These handles just pop in and out when the car locks and unlocks. So it's pretty cool. All the glass is frameless as well, which again gives it that sort of coupe style look, which is the idea behind the sort of Taycan. Uh, you've got a four seat coupe style car. You've got the Bose surround sound system with 14 speakers. Uh, and producing excellent sound within the car, two speakers in this door alone. And then you've got stainless steel entry sill plates on all four entry sills. You've got heated seats front and rear. There's your rear ones. Got climate control. Now you have got Isofix fixings here, so if you do want to put a child seat in, it's fairly straightforward to do. Got these lovely sort of sport style seats that cocoon you uh, very, very comfortably in the car. And then here you've got central armrest with cup holders. Now these seats do, as you see, come down as well. So actually, when you consider that, if you wanted to load a load of gear in here, 
you could do that fairly easily. You've also got just up here the tether points for a child seat, the ones that don't use the isofix. So everything's been thought of and catered for. You can see this panoramic roof, why it's so important to have. It's absolutely enormous and brings so much light into the cabin. So it's definitely worth having. Moving on to the front passenger side. So again, we've got the Taycan 4S entry sill plates and stainless steel. We've got the Porsche branded floor mats, Porsche eight way electric seats. And again, these seats are finished in this half um, leather material with perforated centers. Uh, lovely sort of sports style seats, which are really comfortable as well. Having sat in many, I can vouch for that. Again, Bose sound system. And if we uh, open the glove box here, you've got the Porsche book pack. This lovely media display here, real easy to use. You've also got some, you could put something here if you wanted to, some additional storage. And again, in here as well. Uh, this has got the original, uh, this is part of the smokers package now not that it's not it hasn't been smoked and i can assure you but it's there anyway um, but you can use both of these as cup holders the nice good sizes as well you've got the auto dimming rear view mirrors and side mirrors you've also got the power folding mirrors which is a nice option to have let's move on to the business zone let's look at the driver's side and see what features we've got. I'll run through some of them. I don't know absolutely everything off by heart, but I've listed everything on the ad there. So if you read through, I've listed every option from Porsche. There's your power folding mirror button, all your mirror just windows lock if you've got kids in the back, lock and unlock button. If we go in into the car, we've got heated steering wheel on or off. So you've got the heated wheel option, you've got the adaptive cruise control here. Uh, you've got lane keep assist as well. Full surround view cameras. I'll just close this door so you can see that. There we go. Really, really handy to have mixed parking it, the doddle, really easy. You've also got the sport button. If you want to go straight into sport, you can shortcut it from here. You can open both the front and the back and you can see that see you can see you've got a charging point on either side of the car. Um, but if we open, and obviously the boot I've already shown, so I'm not going to bother opening that. But you can essentially you can do that from this um, from this screen as well. You can also see your charge. So it's currently 81% charge with a range of 231 miles. Um, if you go up to 100%, then obviously the mileage will increase. You can also pre-cool and preheat the car if you like. You've got all the climate control there, you've got the heated seats, <coughs> excuse me, that's the controls for the front. And um, this main digital dash is very cool, it's sort of a wraparound, very thin. You've got the light controls there, speed limit display, navigation. Um, you've got the chassis, you can lower or raise the car. That's a nice short button, uh, shortcut button I should say, uh, there. So it's currently raised because it was lowered. And you can also set a favorite button here so loads of cool features just on there alone and again you can switch between the different displays and then scroll through the options simply by you've got traffic signs assistance systems for example if you want to assistances assistance systems you can see there the <coughs> adaptive cruise control and then if we press again now you can see the yellow bar highlights this this thing so then you can for example, go to extended map and have the whole thing as a map, as opposed to just the center. You can have a power meter displayed there if you want. So all different options that you can that you can play around with. You can see there it says your range as well. Um, so yeah, loads and loads of fun to be had if you've never had a take in before. Um, smart list so the car will automatically raise or lower itself when it remembers if you're at a specific location it's quite cool you can see there the pre-cool heat buttons that I showed you shortcut too early so you can actually set the timers um, you've also got if we go back to here you've got service you can see the next service is not due for another year or 16,000 miles and you've got the charge rate which I've shown you navigation media phone etc going on to the car you've got things like your driver's seat heating and the balance 
to mess about with that. You've got your trip assistant, so you've got the park assist, lane keep assist, basic assist. So for example, if you wanted to use park assist, you could use that button instead of that button there, but I don't see why you would. Of course, it comes on automatically when you select uh, reverse. Now this car's actually got the four wheel steer as an option, which is very handy. You can turn it really nicely and easily in tight situations. Um, great option to have much sought after. You've got the electric sports sound as well, which is very cool. It makes it sound like some sort of spaceship when you hear it, it's amazing. Uh, quite a cool feature to have. You've also got the air suspension, so we can lower it, um, put it on the lowest if you want. Uh, you've got the chassis as well, sport, sport plus, etc. Drive modes, sport. So loads of stuff you can play with there, just simply from this button here um, to set up the car how you particularly like it which you know at the end of the day is, is great because it is a pretty fast car and uh, it drives fantastically so you want to set it exactly to your own preferences and sometimes you want to drive it very calmly other times you may want to use it a bit more aggressively there are USB sockets in here I think the USB C's actually from what I can see you've of course got sun visors with vanity mirrors here lovely frameless rear view mirror which is really nice got a fantastic panoramic roof you've got grab handles all the way around it's a lovely lovely car really nice obviously black with the gray really great combination to have can't really recommend it enough i think it's uh, one of the best electric cars you can buy and if you're looking at a take and i'm sure you'll agree uh, i'll just show you very quickly so this is the front storage area or front boot whatever you want to call it so there's some additional storage here and of course you've got the toolkits and emergency stuff in here as well um, just in case uh, you do have a breakdown and that is pretty much it folks so that is our Taycan 4S performance if you are interested in this particular vehicle then don't hesitate to give us a call drop us an email or a text myself or one of the team will be happy to engage with you and answer any questions you may have. The car is of course under Porsche warranty till its third birthday with the assistant systems as well so you can get um, breakdown cover anywhere you are in the UK uh, and in fact uh, all over the world I'd imagine uh, knowing Porsche and in addition to that we do offer uh, numerous different finance options from all mainstream and specialist lenders it tends to be the specialist lenders that finance the electric cars so we've got the experience in dealing with the right ones for you and of course it makes great sense whether you're buying it personally because there's no tax to pay or even through your even through your business as benefit in kind tax is between zero and one percent i think it's one percent this year um, and you can still offset some of the cost against your corporation Ta or against your profits to lower your corporation tax bill uh, so it makes great financial sense to buy an electric car in the current climate if you are interested get in touch we do offer nationwide delivery in fact we deliver worldwide um, so not a problem just ask us for a quote and we'll we'll provide one and um, that pretty much sums it up i hope you subscribe to our youtube channel uh, you found the video informative and we look forward to seeing you on the next video have a good night